I think, you know, the Alluvium Zero team can actually learn quite a bit from Mavia. Kidrola asking if, if you already minted the 15 blueprints, is there any reason to keep searching? Um, so there's not any reason to keep searching for blueprints once you have the 15, that's it for now. Like I said, there has been some talk about a reward system coming, um, and it seems like it's going to be based off of, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly if it's based off of how much time you've played or maybe the level you're at or the resources that you've been able to accumulate um, or even just how long you've held the land. But it seems like there is something coming. So I'd say there's a good chance that the gameplay does matter. So I'd go in here and I'd just keep playing, boosting up your, your level and you know just wait for that announcement but no these these research scanners and material labs where you're searching for blueprints once you have the 15 in this alpha season that's all you're gonna that's all you're gonna be able to do with that but if they come out you know tomorrow and say oh they're doing some kind of reward system based on the level of your land then you're gonna wish you kept you know coming in here and collecting everything even if I, like right here, I'm collecting this uh, carbon and I don't even have enough space for it, but it's boosting up my levels. But yeah, my big problem with Alluvium Zero right now is just all the clicking. There just seems to be too much clicking. Like if you go over here to uh, Mavia. So if I just go to one of my, it is right here. if I just go to one of my extractors and click collect, it collects you know, anything I've accumulated from all of the extractors. So instead of going into every individual one and then having to reset it to start back up, so you can see again, if I go into, you know, my oil rigs, I click collect, it pulls it from all of my oil rigs. And then they automatically start, you know, regenerating. So it's a lot easier to manage this without so many clicks, where in Alluvium, you need to go through and, you know, click every little thing. And you click it once and you go down to this little menu, click uh, another option, click start. Uh, it's just more than it needs to be, I think. And hopefully that's something that's being worked on. So when you're clearing, you know, the extra things that pop up here, you get these credits that can help you speed up things. When it comes to Mavia, I'm not really sure what clearing these, like removing these do. Like this rock, if I click remove on it, doesn't seem like I get anything, but maybe for the actual global release, it'll do something. I also get so lost in Alluvium Zero. Like there's just so much going on and I wish I could zoom out and see everything. So here's another good thing with Mavia. When you're in here, you can zoom out not only to just see your whole base, you can like keep going. Like you can zoom out into the clouds and see anything you want to see. I also like how when you're you're up top, you're looking straight down at it. And as you zoom in, it kind of like lowers you down as if you're like really in there. Um, I think, you know, the Alluvium Zero team can actually learn quite a bit from Mavia. So, and I know I've mentioned Mavia before, but I'm not sure if anyone's really had a chance to go take a look at it. But if um, if Alluvium Zero, you know, takes some cues from Mavia, I think Alluvium Zero could be a much bigger thing. Especially the whole idea of how Mavia is doing like the free to play version, but you could also earn the land and you're just earning a little bit more from the the actual NFT land. If you here, if you want to, you know, collect this, you're clicking it once to collect, clicking it again to open up a menu, you're clicking mine, then you're clicking start activity. So much better when you're here. Click one, collect it, collects it from all of your your resources, and then automatically starts mining it again. Just so much easier. So so much like user like user friendly. Hopefully, when we can play Alluvium Zero on a, on an iPhone, it'll it feels a little easier. I don't know if anyone out there is playing it on the <clears throat> on Android right now. But playing on the computer, all these clicks, like I feel like I'm going to end up with Carpal Tunnel or something. Definitely would be nice to kind of get more of a, a top view of your Alluvium land. Because some things can get hidden behind others too. Like I don't know if there's any examples on this plot of land. 
But sometimes if you're going to collect something and you have another resource directly behind it, it can kind of be hard to get around that and, and click, you know, whatever that structure is to get it going again. Uh, so this was more of like a trial. I wanted to see how it would look. Obviously, the comments, I still need to figure out how that would work. But I'm going to be trying to do more of this streaming, whether it's just here on X or whether it's on uh, YouTube as well. But that's about it right now. I'm going to end this. Thanks for watching and showing some support.